For the average American home, heating, cooling, and hot water might easily account for half of its energy consumption. So for net zero energy homes to succeed in the future, we're really going to need to figure out how to get that heating and cooling done using a lot less energy. The Smart Home Project gave us the opportunity to work with UC Davis engineers not only to develop a very efficient system for our home, but also to research some new technologies. Welcome to the mechanical room. So this is the thermal heart of the home. So one of the goals with the Honda Smart Home was to demonstrate that we could combine multiple functions and mechanical systems into a single machine. We've deployed here a, a reversible heat pump that does all of the heating, all of the cooling, and provides all of the domestic hot water for the home. Most homes are heated or cooled using forced air systems. Ours is completely radiant, which has the potential to be a lot more efficient. So we have two radiant systems in this home. One is through an activated slab in the concrete slab of the floor. The second is in the sheetrock or above the sheetrock in the ceiling on the second floor. The hot or cold water that's generated by that machine is circulated by a series of pumps down through the floor, through the, the concrete slab of the home, and up through the walls and through the ceiling of the, of the second story where we've actually activated the building surfaces thermally. So we're heating and cooling those surfaces and the heat then transfers into or out of the space. The whole strategy that we're trialing here is aimed at uh, developing a lower cost ground source heat exchange system. Most homes waste a lot of heat, starting with the hot water that goes down the drain. Our home is capturing that waste heat and also harnessing the warmth from the earth. We're trialing a, a, a method that uses a wide bore and only digs down 20 feet. We drop an entire helix of tubing into that bore. When we're making hot water, either for domestic hot water or for heating the house, there's cold water running through these tubes. And the cold water is cooler than the temperature in the ground, so it actually picks up heat from the ground and pulls that back to the source side of our heat pump. This is a trial. We're measuring more than 100 points throughout the ground in this field to mark out the temperature distribution so we can very clearly understand how well this system is exchanging heat with the, the far earth temperature. All of the home's heating and cooling systems can be easily monitored and controlled by the occupant using the home's control system. The more research we do as a society, the faster we'll be able to reach our net zero energy goals. PG&E is our local utility, and they're working with us to analyze the data and then publish the results, and hopefully make the next generation of mechanical systems that much better, cheaper, and more efficient.